I came to college as a 16-year-old toward the to tail end of World War II. And there were very few men. And because there were so few, uh, I was actively recruited by all of the fraternities. But I soon learned that the men on my campus at that time were the scholars, were the gentlemen, and they were uh, people who I thought best reflected the values I had been taught at home. We've had all of the great leaders of the world uh, are members of Phi Beta Sigma fraternity. And we're proud of that because, because we are the inclusive we. What would you say was your most significant accomplishment? I can think of several, but if I had to uh, pick one, I would say that it was to encourage the young men among us to engage in the political arena and to, enc and to encourage the young men of us to pursue academic excellence. And I think we accomplished a great deal of that through our Alan Lorraine Locke scholars, through our debating team, and through our service projects. And I hopefully will be able to remember as the fraternity brother who ensured in rocky times that we were placed on good financial footing. That one of the great joys in my life is that I have become a Sigma man. I've been one since I was 17 years old. I've never been inactive. And I've received all of the accolades my fraternity can give one. I'm a member of the Distinguished Service chapter. And now, today, I'm the oldest past living national president. So the fraternity has been good to me, and I hope every day of my life I repay that goodness.